Today we're going to be transferring images onto polymer clay. This is such a fun technique and the possibilities are endless. I've printed off these images on my laser printer on regular computer paper. And before we start the project, we have to condition our clay. I picked this up at Michael's. You can find it at any hobby store, polymer clay, and there's lots of different brands that will work perfect for you. Before we transfer the images, we need to condition our clay. You can condition it just by kneading it with your hands to make it more malleable and easier to work with. You can also use a ruler or a pasta ruler or whatever preferred method you like. Once you have the clay softened and it's easy to work with, we're going to place it on some non-stick oven sheet and then we're going to take our roller and roll it out so it's even across the whole width of that polymer clay. I have two pieces of slats from a shutter that I like to use and it helps keep that clay a consistent thickness by laying it beside the roller when you're rolling it out. I've taken my graphics and I've sized them in my Word program. This graphic is available in my Etsy store if you want to try these floral prints yourself. I've got these cookie cutters. This is a vintage set that I bought a long time ago at a thrift store and it's perfect for this type of project. You want to make sure that you've sized your graphics so they're going to fit on your finished project. I'm going to make little ornaments with mine so I size them down quite small. I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap and I'm going to lay it on top of that polymer clay making sure that it's nice and flat without any bubbles and wrinkles. And then I'm going to use my cutter and I'm going to press down and cut our shapes out. I like using the saran wrap because it gives a nice domed shape to your clay opposed to not using the saran wrap and you're going to have a flat edge. Just experiment and see what you like when you're putting your ornaments together. We're going to peel off that saran wrap and we have our ornaments cut out nice and domed and nice and even. I'm just going to dip my finger in a little bit of water and just smooth around the edges. This is a fun DIY to do if you want to put together some earrings or a pendant for a necklace or some ornaments. I've got these on a non-stick oven sheet and I'm now going to use my cutter and I'm going to trace around the size I want of each floral. That way I'm ensuring that the floral print is going to be exactly where I want it when I place it on my clay pieces. I've got these all cut out now and now we're going to take just some water on a little paintbrush and we're going to dab it on the top of these ornaments and then we're going to take the pieces of paper that we've printed with our laser printer and place them right on top centered exactly where we want them and then we're going to take the paintbrush with the water and just completely soak that piece of paper until you can start to see your graphic show through. I have best results using my laser printer. You can use an inkjet printer but it's not quite as crisp. Give it a try and see what works for you. I'm now going to dip my finger in the water and I'm going to smooth out those graphics just a little bit more, going in a circular motion, making sure that we can really see that graphic show through that paper. We're then going to set these aside and let them dry until the paper is completely dry. Don't touch them, it might take an hour or so. Now these took two hours and as you can see I'm going to just peel off that paper and we have a transfer onto our polymer clay using our laser printer on regular computer paper and all you need is a little bit of water. I think this is so fantastic. It's a really fun transfer technique and I can't wait for you to try this out and explore lots of different ways and lots of different DIYs that you can do. I'm just taking the end of my paintbrush and I'm putting holes in the top of this. And because this is an oven baked clay, we now have to put these in the oven and we're going to bake them according to the package instructions. Once these are baked and cooled, your clay is going to be hard and durable. When you first take it out of the oven, they might feel a little bit soft, but they'll firm up very quickly. I think these are just adorable and I can't wait to add them to gifts as little tags. And for a nice finish, you can also use a clear protective coating like a polyacrylic spray. You can lay your charms out on some newspaper or cardboard and give them a spray and they'll be ready to go. I'm going to turn this one into a little magnet for our fridge also, just using my hot glue gun 
and adding a magnet on the back of that polymer clay ornament and what a nice little gift this would make to tuck into a little present a homemade polymer clay ornament with a graphic transfer on it. I hope this video has been helpful in mastering the art of image transfer onto polymer clay. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.